How our analysis is a critical step in the design of an experiment or study, and it's used to determine the minimum sample size required to detect an effect of a given size with a certain degree of confidence. Here's how to do it. First step, determine the research hypothesis. Define it. So first, determine the effect size. The effect size is a measure of the magnitude of the phenomenon you are studying. Common metrics for determining the effect size include coins D for t-tests, odds ratio for logistic regression, and correlation coefficient for correlation studies. Next step is to specify the significance level when you are defining the research hypothesis. Specifying the significance level, this is determining the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true, so your type 1 error. A common choice, as we all know, is 0.05. The next step is to choose the desired power, and the desired power is from 1 to beta. So the power is looking at the probability of correctly rejecting the null hypothesis when it is false. So your type 2 error. Commonly used power levels are 0.8 or 0.9, meaning there is an 80% or 90% chance of detecting an effect if it is there. Thirdly, you want to determine the statistical test. So you select the appropriate test. Depending on your research design, you select the statistical test you will use, such as a t-test, an ANOVA, regression analysis, chi-square test, etc. The fourth step is to calculate or estimate the effect size. Use prior research or pilot studies. If possible, use data from previous studies to estimate the expected effect size. Coins guidelines can also provide a benchmark e.g. small, medium, large effects. The fifth step is to use a power analysis tool. So the software tools that allow you to do power analysis include statistical software such as GPower, R, or online calculators to input the, the parameters, such as the effect, the size, the alpha, the power, and test type, and calculate the required sample size. Lastly, you want to interpret the results. So you review the input. The software will just provide you the minimum sample size needed for your study, but ensure that this sample size is feasible, giving your resources and adjust if necessary. So looking at this example, suppose you are conducting a two sample t-test. You want to compare the means of two independent groups. So the first thing is to decide what your effect size is. And you can use coins D and say, let's say that the studies suggest an effect size of 0.5, which is a medium effect. Then we have to set the significance level alpha and we can set that at the conventional 0.05. Then we need to determine the desired power, which is one minus beta. And so this is set at 0.8. Then the statistical test is a two sample t test because we're comparing means of two independent groups. If it was more groups, we would maybe look at an ANOVA. So then using G Power, you open G Power. G Power can be downloaded from gpower.hhu.de. You can download it for a Mac or Windows. And then once downloaded and it's installed, you can start to do the analysis. So you open G Power and you select T tests under tests and means difference between two independent means, two groups. Then you input the effect size as 0.5, the alpha as 0.05 and the power as 0.8. Then click calculate to get the required sample size per group. 